Comfortable and stylish. Stylish and comfortable. Comfortable shoe with classic style. Lightweight and comfortable shoes that don't forfeit style. Retro and stylish. Clean pair. Coolest shoes ever. Comfortable and stylish again. Easy on and off everyday sneakers. Looks heavy but feels light. Eclectic style and a comfortable shoe. Everyday shoes. Great shoes. Great street shoe. Just get a pair already. Okay, and none of these are from me. These are all reviews for the Jordan MA2 on Nike. So if you don't listen to me, maybe listen to all of these people that pick the sneaker up. Absolutely love it. Uh, if you're trying to find a breath of fresh air in this extremely difficult landscape of buying sneakers, I'd just say pick up a Jordan MA2. If this is your first time seeing an unboxing of the Jordan MA2, just know the men's and women's box will look like this. So a little bit more detailed with a tan and black box as opposed to the gray school pairs that will have just a traditional black box. But a lot of detailing again on the box itself. And that's what you'll find with the sneaker. A lot of micro detailing that really helps it to stand out. Now with this pair, which is the white and sesame, most of the upper of the sneaker is made with the synthetic leather it doesn't have as much suede as the other pair which is the women in power i unboxed here on my channel but nonetheless it's still a great pair so along with the synthetic leather yes the mesh has a blue tint to it you're not just seeing things and as we turn the shoe you can see at the back at the top of the collar you have suede there except the eye stays on this pair are synthetic leather instead of suede like on the women in power pair i'm a fan of all the little details that you'll see on the pull tab and then the foot to foot eject that textured area is so you can use the toe of one sneaker to take off the other shoe uh, for easy on easy off access that's exactly what this sneaker is meant for so just be sure to leave it by the door and then in terms of comfort it has the max air 200 within the heel and the rest will be foam i love the outer sole being gum bottom and then the translucent uh heel part as well i think that really adds a lot to the sneaker and really helps it stand out with this pair now here's a quick look and comparison from the other women's pair that i have just so you can see the difference in materials on the various parts of the sneaker in itself so you have suede going around the back heel on one pair but on this new pair you see that it's leather versus the top of the heel <laughs> actually being leather for the collar on the women in power but suede on the white and sesame pair and then uh women in power is more of a rip stop material versus that mesh on the toe box so i think i actually do prefer the suede accents more on the women in power but nonetheless, I'm a big, big fan of the white and sesame. What's going on, everybody? It's your girl TJ back with another video talks with TJ, aka TJ Two Swiss Chain. Thank you so much again for tuning in to another video. If you're brand new, hit the subscribe button if you like what you see, or just at least hit the like button. I really appreciate it. Every creator does. I promise you that. If you're a brand new subscriber, hey, uh, really thank you for hitting that subscribe button. And Two Swiss Crew, you guys are amazing as always, and you've sat through not one but two reviews of the Jordan MA2 already. This is the third and and if you're not aware, if you're living under a rock, like to me, this is the best silhouette, brand new silhouette, I'll say that, to come out in 2021 so far. Last year, it was the New Balance 327 for me, but this year, hands down, it's the Jordan MA2. It is truly the sneaker you can just stick by the door, uh, just pretty much drop by the door, wear it all the time. I told my goddad about it. He instantly bought a pair, and so now he's enjoying the comfort of that, but I I've spoken on this. You know, it is a little bit difficult. It means you may need to branch out or venture out into other, you know, maybe product lines for sneakers you're not used to. And I think Jordan Brand really wants to do something special with the MA2. I kind of feel like the, you know, the Jordan Max 200 just, it never did it for me. But when you're talking about the MA2, I think it checks all the
the box is. I love the versatility in the materials for every single pair because they're all going to be a little bit different. And that's exactly what you saw in the unboxing prior to right now. The leather pair, which is the white and sesame I'm unboxing and reviewing here, is a little bit different than the women in power pair, which had a mul you know, multitude of materials from leather, suede. Uh, I believe there were some, you know, textiles, some rip stuff on there. So you had a lot of different materials, but nonetheless, they're amazing shoes. So for myself, just so you guys know, I go true to size on this, which means it's either a women's seven and a half or a boy's size six. It doesn't go down that far for men's sizing. I think it stops. I think the lowest it'll go is a seven. If you're picking this up in men's or women's, you're looking at $125 retail. If you're picking this up for grade school, you're looking at $100. Again, the box will be different. You'll get a totally different box for men's and women's. And then for uh, boys, you're just going to get the standard black box with the gold jump man on the top. You can find these in a number of places, Dick Sporting Goods, Nike, Finish Line, Foot Locker, Foot Action. Tons of places will have the Jordan MA2. It just depends on which colorway you're looking for and if they'll have that. The most popular colorway, hands down, I would have to say was the, uh, the, the future, the new beginnings. Definitely the 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 really hard one, Future Beginnings, I think it was called. Difficult to find at first. That sold out instantly. That's still the pair I'm hunting down next. So that may be the next pickup in terms of a Jordan MA2 for myself. But now that we got the unboxing out of the way, let's take a look at the on foot and how I would style this two different ways. Let's jump into the on foot for the first outfit look. So here you can see what these look like with pants. Again, I think it's a great go-to sneaker in the summer. Maybe you don't want to wear uh, just an all-white Air Force One. Maybe you know you'll be on your feet all day. So putting on Vans, maybe that's not something you want to do as well. I think the white Sesame Jordan MA2 is a great option. It's extremely comfortable and it's a firm comfort just so you guys know. So I think it's something that will support you well throughout the entire day. For the first styled look here, I'm wearing the women's utility Jordan cargo pants. They are so lightweight. It almost feels as if you have nothing on. I picked these up in black last year. I debuted that video and unboxing on my channel. And then for the top, this is actually one of the crop tops from Minimal. Yes, it is very reminiscent of the Fog mainline iridescent crop jacket. I don't think they were trying to hide what they were quote unquote influenced by, but that's exactly what it should remind you of. I think this is an easy toss on outfit that allows the pieces to each individually kind of speak for themselves but the contrast between the black pants that iridescent top and then the white sneaker just stands out well for me uh, but instead of just standing out i think it all gels really well together with it being summer, I think it's only fair to show a sneaker with both pants and shorts as an option because most of us are probably moving away from pants uh, depending on what climate you're in. But if you're already in the 80 degree weather, pants may not be your friend. So you can see what these look like with no show socks. Again, a beautiful profile just in terms of the way the sneaker looks, but also all day comfort is provided as well. And for the second look, it's casual, jazzed up just a little with a blazer. So ladies, I think this is a really good hack <laughs> that you can use. If you even want to put on, you know, jeans and a t-shirt, just throw a blazer on and I can promise you it, it takes it up a notch. Even if you think it doesn't, I can guarantee you, <laughs> guarantee you it does. So you have the American Eagle distressed denim shorts the american eagle tank top and then an h&m blazer so nothing special all easily accessible probably at your local mall or online but this is an outfit i intend to rock a lot this summer and it's also nice just to have the blazer in case you are somewhere that has air conditioning you know turned all the way up which i actually prefer that in the summer just throw your jacket on or take it off if you happen to head outside but this is the second look and probably my favorite of the two so you guys know the drill now. Please sound off in the comment section which outfit was your favorite, number one or number two. And do you have a Jordan MA2 already? If not, what exactly are you doing with your life? I'm trying to save your feet here. I want them to be comfortable. I want things to be easy. Well, easier than what it has been for picking up pairs. So I think the Jordan MA2 is just a great, I think it's a great avenue to travel down for kicks. Again, 
Um, I am a okay with being known as the Jordan MA2 girl. Just um, I, I humbly and gratefully respect, the, you know, accept that term. But it's a new favorite of mine. So again, the future beginnings, I think that will be the the MA2 that I go after next. So now I have the white and sesame. I have the university blue and yellow, and as well the women in power colorway. There are so many more releasing as well. And hopefully you find a pair that really works for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. As always, act your age, not your shoe size. Peace out.